Woman's Money in the Bank Ladder Match. Alexis Carrillo here, back with some more wrestling talk content on the Alexis Carrillo brand YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any wrestling talk content in the future. And this Sunday night, we've got Money in the Bank, the pay-per-view in Chicago, Illinois. For the third time in history, we will have a Money in the Bank ladder match involving women superstars. Four from Raw. Four from SmackDown Live, obviously the Raw participants are Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, Natalia, and Amber Moon. And from the SmackDown Live roster, we've got Naomi, we've got Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and Lana. Those are the eight women involved in this very important match, which will decide uh, who gets to call herself Miss Money in the Bank for the next possible year depending on when they cash in now first of all one thing I want to make perfectly clear is that I am NOT a fan of the fact that every time I turn on Raw and every time I turn on Smackdown Live and they mention these money in the bank ladder matches not only the women's match but also the men's ladder match they talk about hey the winner gets the cash in on that brand's champion I am not a fan of that. That makes the outcome predictable. That makes the result predictable. And I would love it for them to go back to the way it was. Where you had the Money in the Bank ladder match winner could appear on Raw or on SmackDown and cash in on any champion and trade or move rosters, should I say. I should say. Move rosters in the process. But going back to the prediction of this particular match... First and foremost, I've got to say two women or, or three women that I think have no chance, absolutely no chance of walking out, Miss Money in the Bank, are Ember Moon, or Lana, and Natalia. I think these three women superstars, very talented, tons of potential in, in all three of them, but I don't think WWE will go down that road where they put the Money in the Bank briefcase on the rookie like Alana, like an Ember Moon. I get it. They're on the upwards and forwards. They're rising up in the ranks. They've got potential. But, you know, we kind of saw that last year with Carmella, another woman that hadn't been clearly established in the division and needed the Money in the Bank briefcase to establish herself. I think they might go for a more established name this time. And Natalia, on the other hand, obviously she's not a rookie. She's the veteran in the women's division. And this time, I gotta say, Natalia, I think she's headed towards a program with Ra Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Whether it be for the Raw Women's title, we'll talk about that later. But uh, I think Natalia is not an option to be Miss Money in the Bank. Then we have uh, the other five contenders. Becky Lynch, Naomi, Charlotte, Alexa Bliss, and Sasha Banks. All five proven. All five with the right pedigree and with the right historic value in terms of if they win the Miss Money in the Bank briefcase, if they get a hold of it, they have a legitimate chance of actually becoming women's champion, a legit women's champion. And I'm going to list this in an order, 1 through 5, and I've got to go. Number 5, as much as it pains me to say it, Alexa Bliss, I think out of these 5 women, she has the least chance of becoming Miss Money in the Bank, simply because for the past 2 years, she's been women's champion the most. She has been involved in the SmackDown Live Women's Championship matches and the Raw Women's Championship matches over the past two years a lot and I think fans are starting to get a little bit awry and starting to get a little bit tired of Mi Little Miss Bliss in the title picture. And we have someone like Charlotte, in, uh, which a woman that I will position in place number four. Again, she's been a lot, she's had a lot to do with the women's title uh, over the past few years and I don't think you really need a briefcase to get her back into title contention. 
then we get into the, my top three candidates. Now, these three candidates, I believe, all have an equal chance of walking out Miss Money in the Bank. I think they all have potential of doing so. But, if I had to choose one, I would have to go with Becky Lynch. I think Becky Lynch walks out Miss Money in the Bank simply because it's pretty much clear that it has become a problem for WWE to establish the last kicker as a force to be reckoned with on SmackDown or in the WWE Women's Division uh, to talk, you know, to begin with. Uh, you know, they've had her closer to the title contention, but nobody really took her seriously, and you've had her a lot lower on the title uh, contention, and fans were okay with that, but I think Becky Lynch needs to be Miss Money in the Bank. I think she needs that push, and I do believe Becky Lynch walks out Miss Money in the Bank. But that's my prediction. That's my preview for this match. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Who do you think walks out Miss Money in the Bank at, at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in Chicago, Illinois, and why? Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. Till next time.